Alrighty, and we are back. You see Jupiter Oil, I saw I'd added your uh, your clip in there. Well, let's find the gener this looks like a ge well this looks like a generator. I mean this is literally a generator, because it's not okay. No, he said off the kitchen, so I'll hang around this door, so I'm guessing this is it. Hello? Anyone there? All right, guys, spread out. The utility room should be something here. Somewhere. In some dark, scary corner. I know I've said this before, but be careful. Don't take word alone. Uh. Actually. Let's get a scan. Ah, uh, oh yeah. I'm trying to remember if there's a way you can just like capture stream to like move. Is that it? That was behind it. Wow. Okay. That was hard to get. The origins of this evil cooking device are unclear. What is known, however, is that the demons and devils apparently love a home cooked meal. I mean, who does it, man? It's like today I, I baked some chicken breasts and also had some like. Spiral sliced like ham. It wasn't honey baked ham, it was peppered ham, so it was different. But you know, still really good. Let's find this here. Find this for a generator. Oh, hello. Can't step on it. Did you and Beekman do all this when you were chasing Slime? No, this is a lot worse than the left. This is the work of something big. When you say big, do you mean big, big? Mm-hmm. At the very least, maybe even bigger. That sounds pretty big. <laughs> the manager said there was a generator room around here somewhere. Look for a door. I am, but we gotta deal with all this slime first. We don't wanna get Ouchy foot. It has to be ah, welcome somewhere. back. Keep an eye out for a sign. Yeah, I do hear this like this whisp this whispering. Unlike you say eternal darkness, I can kinda understand what it's saying. Okay, see, this sounds like a generator. This looks like a generator. But I guess that's not the generator. Like, seriously, this is literally a generator powering this light. Back with what looks like a tasty beverage. Okay, they're not ghost rats. Cadet found the emergency generator. Look around for a switch or something to start it up. What's it look like? Probably like a switch or something that would start up a generator. A Nintendo oh, switch, know, perhaps? No, I'm keeping score. What did I say? There's a lot of water on the floor. Watch out for static Noodle discharge cup. when you activate the generator. Nice. You mean to say he could be electrocuted after the power's back on? Could happen. Outside chance. Eh, well, I'm not going to be in the water when I turn it on. Water. That sounds like an excellent recommendation. Looks like that power cable is caught in the control. 
Hmm. Get it out of the water then. Power cable, power cable. I know this much. Oh, that one. Drop down here like rats and fill that cable out of the water. How about some slime tethering? Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. If I could get a good, good hit on that cable. Uh huh. Tether it up. I I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Jesus. Do you realize how hard it? Oh, I can just hit the lamp part. Gosh, that was dumb. There we go. Pull it out of there. Slime tether. Already did, guys. The elevator should be working. Unless something never mind. Let's get back to the lobby. You see, and speaking of, of cup noodles, Final Fantasy listen, 15, I just what's that smell? didn't enjoy it. Come on. He said it. He said, listen, what's that smell? Out, it's the late shift. Yeah, but this is just the hell. Where's the boss? I can't believe I just said that out loud. I know that guy. The mass poisoner, Chef the Forest. So nobody eat anything in here, even if you're really hungry. I'm about to swallow my own tongue, Ray. Will that be okay? I'm gonna take care of these. He's just gonna spawn guys while we're fighting him. Not what I want to do. What button is drop a trap? Okay. Come here. Ray and Egon might give you a kiss for that. Oh, still. Dang it. It's a whole swarm. Yeah, it's pretty infamously too. Yeah, like the product placement was a, was was quite Look behind you. quite Find a lot and quite infamous in that game. Why are you? T Look up above you. All right, I'm going back to to this plan. Incoming. Come here. Run. Get that one on the books. Hey, buddy. Dang it. It's on your left. Oh, I mean, I didn't finish Final Fantasy 15 because I didn't really enjoy, like, the combat and stuff like that. It was kind of, I don't know. But yeah, it was, it was, the product placement was pretty, uh, egregious, you could say. See that? Ow. Help! Gotta move! Oh. That's trouble. Come on. Yo. Come out from around the wall. Stop being a punk. Find some cover. On the right. Ow. I mean, oh. you laugh. But it's it's highly it's a highly effective strat. Ah, uh, sorta. I mean, I have a PlayStation Four. Uh, I'm not really when it comes to my RPGs. I'm not an, usually an action RPG. Like, it depends. It depends is really the big the big word. Like the Tales games, I like those. I like those a lot. Get in here. Get over here. Get over here. Quit messing around. Jerk. Get in that trap. That's what I like. I mean, it looks neat. 
Um, I'm probably not going to get it or play it because I actually gave away my PlayStation 4 because I never use it. So, if it comes to PC eventually... Oh, yeah. Come down here and say that. Maybe. But, you know, from what I've seen of it, it seems cool. Okay, guys, what are we standing around for? Oh, we're still waiting for Chef Gusto. Actually get it. On your left. Uh, where is he? I gotta have, let's have the trap out here in like a more open area, I guess. He just keeps running, doesn't he? A whole swarm. Look behind you. Above you. Come on, buddy. It's okay. Rookie mistake. Had enough of this. That's it. Get in this trap. Hey, watch it. We don't have that one in the database. Take that back to the grip. All right, friendly. Kitchen is clean. Let's get back to the elevator. Ah, oh, all right. Yeah, and that's that's something, I mean, spoilers for a game I haven't played, but it's been spoiled for me by the internet. Um, in Final Fantasy VII R, my understanding is that it's actually quite different. Thank God you're here. Everything from the original Final Fantasy okay, VII. Like, the cycle mass has come like one, they try to expand upon it a lot, and two, at the yeah. same time, they kind of are hotel like, you, we're, no we're not really going to... None of the grand old hotels do. Man, follow, like, like we're gonna follow the original the story, but we're also not. The tenderfoot go to the twelfth floor. Winston and I will check out the fourteenth. Uh, sir, get near something. You, please come with us. Fine, but stay in contact. This place is extraordinarily dangerous. I mean, I've heard all in all, it's 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 good. But I mean, me. Yeah, that's another thing that that I've heard. It's like it's good, but there's there's padding too. Like I mean, a lot of it's new and different and good, but a lot of it's also padding. Where is whatever the heck it is I'm supposed to be finding? Like there's no jump button that I'm aware of. Which, I mean, how would you jump carrying a big-ass proton pack, but, you know. What in the, the fuck? Look, I hear some kind of a creepy voice, too. Swiss death clock. Death clock. Let's see. The infamous Swiss death clock. Constructed by Herschel of Gluke, genius but demented watchmaker, is intended to show the exact time of death of anyone that comes near it. When placed in the firehouse in close proximity to so many past life entities, the clock's hand spin out of control. Peter uses it as a desk fan. Also the inspiration for Metalocalypse, maybe. Alright, so where are we going now, guys? Where are the where are the Busters of ghosts, since I spent an unnecessary amount of time trying to find that item. Okay, so this is where we came through. And they were talking about stuff while I was looking for cursed artifacts. There's the guy, here's the elevators, okay. Well, 
Well, let's see what's on the twelfth floor. Could be. That would be like a cool. If that was a cool nod, I would. I would totally appreciate that. You mean, why do we keep seeing new ghosts? Yeah. Okay. Think of the Mandala as a city bus line. Mm -hmm. At the bus station, ghosts or waiting passengers are drawn into the system here and trapped. This concentrates their PK energy, which is then eventually forced through to the next node or station mm -hmm. and so on until it all ends at the final terminus. At each successive bus station, the station manager absorbs some of the energy. This makes the station mm. manager or node guardian stronger so that it can keep the ghosts in line and destroy anyone who comes to the station to interfere with the flow. Neat. These nodes or bus stations gather the power used to feed a central point, thus creating a much bigger threat to our world. Does that make more sense now? Yes. TTTC, Totally Trapped Transit Company. <clears throat> yeah, you were going strong right up until the passengers got trapped inside the bus station. When is my performance review again? I deserve more stock options. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that was terrifying. <laughs> Be extremely careful. This is likely to be a point of dangerous concentration. Odd. It's coming from everywhere and nowhere. Impossible to get a significant fix. Hey, hey Egon. Man, are you there? Where'd the other guys go? What happened? You lost you for a minute there. Oh, they're on the radio. Contact. I've got some more information on the Spider Witch ghost. The manager says authorities never found her, but the bodies were hung from the ceiling. They were drained of blood and dragged around. He says the victims were found in a pretty bad state. The yeah, I heard him. In blood. Furniture was half chewed and crushed and piled in a corner like a giant nest. She mm. seems to have vandalized the room badly too. Hmm. I don't want to be hung oh. from the ceiling and drained of blood. I, tell you this much, I saw it go blue for a second before it went red. I think that sentiment is unanimous. We need to go through here. Well, yeah. Ray, come in. Yeah, what's up? What was the Spider Witch's room number? 1221. After her spree, it was locked up until about five years ago when we remodeled. Hear that? Mm. Room 1221. I think that. Hey! Get her. <laughs> Take a scan, see what you find. I'm trying to, man. There's a thing around here. Let's keep moving. There's a thing. Might be through a door. There's definitely a thing. Oh no. I just heard the toilet flush. Do I want to know what's in here? Oh no. Come on. Yeah, I was I, I I tried to get into Rick and Morty, I never could. Let's see, presented to His Majesty Edward VII as a diplomatic gift from the Moroccan ambassador. This stunning specimen of engineering and craftsmanship has been a harbinger of disaster and death since its initial casting. Unbeknownst to the ambassador, a Turkish drowning demon was bound to the magnificent throne as a fiendish assassination ploy. An insolent under-butler became the seat's first British victim. When said servant tried to use it before Edward had a chance. Oh, see you in a minute. The underbutler was dragged in horrible watery doom. The toilet was quickly removed from the royal palace and thrown in the rubbish. It has since passed through many hands and households, spawning terror and tragedy in each. Even in this day and age, it's difficult to imagine that such a work of beauty is so incredibly deadly. Uh, work of beauty, you say? There, there is not enough pine soul. I'm sorry. That was a fun, but, but you see, the, I like these little Easter eggs that you can track down if you feel like it. Let's 
Let's keep moving. Ah, uh ah, -uh, friend, friend, huh? Okay. Friend, or like uh, you gotta go, kind of friend, or. Whoa. Here they come. We're not alone in here. Oh yeah, I mean, if you got a friend coming, it's totally like, you know, life comes first, man. 100% and you enjoy it. But just be safe, you know, make them, like, take a shower and stuff and, like, whatnot. Get out of here. So that they don't, you know, because I don't want you to, like, get sick or anything. This floor is undergoing significant metamorphosis. Ghost World is aggressively encroaching on ours. It's not even utilizing a portal. This is very bad. Mmm. Because I, I tell you, that's what I, whenever I get home, that's the first thing I do. My that scene. Goodness, we hardly know each other. <laughs> My ankles. <laughs> wow, what is it, like the 20s? What are you? No! Yeah, I take that. We take that super serial here. Whenever anyone leaves for any period, it's the ghost you know, world crossing through, happening sooner than we expect. Depending, it looks like it's this like you got a like focused. minimum we change clothes, help. wash hands. Ray, are you there? You know, potentially if you've Come been out Ray. for a long time, you got a shower or stuff like looks that. Looks like it's up to us. Let's find twelve twenty one and finish this. All right, Egon, let's do it. There's another secret. Another secrety, secrety. Come to me, little secret here. Secret. Secret. Let's get a scan. What? Nineteen thirty three, Russian demonologist Vladimir. Elescu performed exorcisms throughout Central Russia in the 20s and early 30s. He never noticed that one of the very minor sub-demons he cast out had escaped into his beard. A massive and wild nest that stirred envy in most men. On his death, the possessed beard left Belescu's face and stowed aboard a freighter for the Americas. The beard has a tendency to affix itself to the chins of unknowing victims while they speak to mock them, but rarely does it but it rarely does any real harm. I like that episode of the tick. Where he had a living mustache, I guess. The cartoon that is. I haven't watched any of the live action episodes of The Tick. Feels kind of wrong. Yeah, that's what I want equipped. Find some shelter, quick! Hey, watch! need to go through here. Alright, see you in a minute. There's a whole swarm. Yeah, I don't think this is the right. Dude, Egon. Okay, I'm trying. Look. Alright, maybe this is not the best weapon for this situation. 1220, 1222. No 1221. Where is it? 1221 has to be here. Let's 
Remember, just because we can't see it doesn't mean it isn't here. So I'm guessing. Good thinking. It was here all along. Well, this looks inviting. Let's see. Yeah, this looks fun. I don't like the look of this, but we've run out of options. Oh, I found it. What would have made this game just just 100% perfect? And if they ever like re 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 remake it, I would love is if they had a character creator. Like let them keep calling you rookie, whatever. But you know, just a character creator, and you get to pick your name, and it just has your name on the jumpsuit. That would be so amazing. We aren't alone. Uh, I'll default to that, thank you very much. Guys up here. Whatever we're looking for, it's this way. The Spider Witch. Spider Witch Chronicles. Did I just come through here? No. Nope. Here we go. <laughs> Heads up! Oh, it kept following you. This is why homing is probably a very good thing. Flirting? No. Trying to kill? Yes. That's nice to see, and I'll admit, I did see that when I was watching the uh, Super Beard Bros play of it. The way that it uh, it does actually home in on her if she's painted. Lady, hold still, jeez. It's actually a very, if you can connect, it's a very effective strat. No 
not Egon. Fine, I'll take the overheat if it keeps her painted. <laughs> I sure did. Can't hide from the Misan lady. That's trouble. Gotcha. Mandala map. Nice. What does it mean? Winston, come in. You there? Egon, what happened? You all right? Their crew found the 13th floor and we shut it down. PKE levels are back to acceptable parameters. This node of the Mandala is fully neutronized. All right. Where are you? We went back down to the 12th floor and couldn't find anything. Everything seems pretty normal. Looks like we're back in the Ruby Ballroom. We'll meet you at Ecto-1. Egon, remind me, why are we driving aimlessly in the fog? The final note, Beckman. Close it, and we seal the mandala, trapping the ghosts inside. Sorry to break this to you, Egon, but I just don't see a mandala. You were saying? Shandor Island. It's here. Uh huh. So while we were dealing with uh, the Spiderwood Chronicles, uh, they found uh, I'm gonna have to drop you guys in circle. If Echo Eight sinks, we're sunk too. Found an Wait, island. Since you're the most excited about going to Ghost Island, why don't I just take the boat? I, I <clears> thought I was making a nice gesture. You giving me the suspicious look. <laughs> drop it instantly. Let's get going, because nobody enjoys rushing headlong towards their death more than this fellow. Mm. What's the story behind this place, Egon? The Shandors owned this island for generations. The castle was built in the 1860s. Hey, hey. Is it just me, or was there like no transition? Like we were in the hotel and then we were just on the boat. Ooh. Okay, that's all well and good. But can someone explain to me how an entire island sinks? The night the last Shandor died, there was a huge tidal surge, and the river just swallowed the island whole. Mm. Shandor consecrated the island to Gozer, and the ghost world reclaimed it. Mm -hmm. City's lucky it's in the middle of the river instead of Rockefeller Center. Lucky now, but soon the ghost world will continue to assert itself into ours, and the damage will be incalculable. Hmm. Just another hmm. screwed up day at the office. Looks like we need a way over there. It appears that we need to take that staircase to get inside. That's a big hole, and I am not Welcome sure back. the Hudson River in November. So, I don't oh, want to get far. Let's see what upgrades we can get. Welcome back. That was pretty quick. Oh man, I got so much money from that. Let's see. Uh, Pulse Enhancer. Yes. Uh, why not? Mm. Why not? Sasha's stream just doesn't seem that useful, man. 
Am I like overlooking something? Hold on. Ah, uh, more slime tethers. Okay, good. Cause I need. I need more slime tethers. Okay. Oh no 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 no. Liter so is that like literally the only thing that I don't own? That's it. We are fully, fully upgraded. Maybe that crane still works. Well, if you could get that over there and Look over here, and make a world. Rookie, move the crane. All right, swing it around. I'm Almost. working on it. Work it over this way to cover the hole. Oh, that's too far. And we have to literally work it. It's it's not going quickly. Just for good measure. Oh my gosh. Bring it in. Almost Let's there. see. One. Red Three. Wasted Talents. Thank you for the follow. No, new guy. Welcome, one welcome, more. welcome to the stream. Alright, so let's let's uh head on into the Hands up. Shandor's Atlantis. Oh, you're right. <laughs> What's with you? You know you only get paid if we live. Recruit, you okay? Whoa. Let's keep moving. I feel like that had to be scripted. That had to be. Oh, what am I doing? I need my goggles. I don't want to miss any little weird, weird items. Okay. Careful, we don't wear helmets. Guys, there's we way should. too much dangerous debris should, falling in here. I've got to take Marine Ecto-8 out where it's safer. Don't go too far, Ray. If we need you, we're gonna need you really fast. Aye, aye, see. Raise me on the horn if you need me. Now he's Captain Ahab. Be careful, Ray. Let's keep moving. We'll find a place where Ray can put in to get us later. Don't you know? You never split the party. Seems like all these guys do is split the party, though. That's a three million dollar view, even by Manhattan standards. My apartment used to look like this. Shandor's public architectural style ranged from federal to Art Deco. His personal tastes, however, obviously lean toward the Gozerian. Oh, now I see what they mean by early demonic. Oh, there's a thing. There's something over here. Let's see. Having resuscitated the Dark Church of Gozer and wanting to increase its popular appeal, Ivo Shandor made attempts at updating ancient Sumerian droning rituals to modern-day worship songs. The practice of singing in the Dark Church was abandoned soon after. Yeah, I can imagine that doesn't that doesn't sound like a very a very good idea. I mean, I was more trying to look around here. Hmm. Huh. Oh, there's just steps, obviously. Duh. Like, what do I do with this machine? Nothing. You take... You go through the door. Or you go up the steps. Yeah, 
Yeah, that doesn't sound that happy. Doesn't sound good. There's an open door. Hey, we know those guys. Can I scan you? Oh man, gargoyles. I hate gargoyles. Oh, wait a second. I've got an idea. Oh, still. That's it. Fully slide. Oh, man. Oh, too many little dudes. Come on, guys. Gotta take care of this slime hole. Okay. Um, actually, instead... I'm hit! Need some help! Oh! I attacked us in Times Square. The Godwin and Shandor buildings. Yes, Evo would be different. Well, we're supposed to slam them, so I'm trying to slime tether them, but it's not, uh, working all that well. But that's okay. Ah, oh, there's another one. Hold still for me. Look out above you. I mean, it worked. He did s slam into something. Uh, that's a lot of whatever they are. I'm on it. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to think the slime is the best weapon in the game. <laughs> did 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 he just go? Yeah. Where is it? Well, I don't know. It'll show back up. Okay, I got loose on it. You're up, buddy. Okay, cadet, you first. I've got your back. Okay, doki. Did you know that historically hedge mazes are designed to conceal a secret shortcut? Well, there's you... still one crank that works down there. Try using it to open the door. I will as soon as I'm done, like, destroying the maze. Because I'm like, I'm not going to be... party. I'm not going to be party to being trapped in a maze. It's like a principal thing. Let's keep moving. Decrepit stuff bear sometimes not as bad as it looks. Oh my gosh. The origin of this ratty old stuff bear is not known, but its paranormal behavior, the emitting of an off putting, though strangely compelling cry of anguish, has been periodically heard since the day it was removed from Klaus Museum of Taxidermic Curiosities in December 1867. Nice. He gone, Winston. Can we get out of here? I'm working on it, guys. I 
I'm just trying to make some room. And I mean, they don't seem to. Keep an eye out. All right. Change. That did it. The door's wide open. Get back up here. All right, that was easy. Telling you, slime's best weapon in the game. Scanned it for you, Egon. How much slime you got in there, Ghost? You got a mean street rook. Watch yourself, would you? Alright. Oh, hold on. I thought maybe he was trying to keep me away from something. Do what I'm doing. How about this? Yeah, that would. Hmm. The ticket we're not well. Yeah? There's a first. I'm gonna get us all name badges that say, Hello, I'm not welcome. Or maybe t-shirts or coffee mug. Alright, let's see. Good adventures always go left. Be my guest. Uh, oh, okay, cutscene. Alyssa, I see her. You and me both. <clears throat> she's wearing just a simple terry cloth robe. And she's brought me coffee. Ew. That's her, all right. Spitting image. The resemblance is uncanny. This is Evo Shandor's mother, painted in 1885. Mm. Wait. What? Alyssa is a Shandor? Well, Why does she this always probably happen? doesn't know. I meet a girl, she's crazy about me, but she always turns out to be some kind of unbelievable fixer-upper. This is all making sense. Alyssa must have inadvertently triggered the mandala because she has Shandor blood. And she doesn't know it. When I did her profile, she told me she was adopted. Some mm. coincidence, huh? You don't really believe this happened by accident. No. Someone must have known and set this up. Oh, of course. The mayor did say that Peck personally recommended Alyssa to be the guest curator of the Gozer exhibit. Sure did. Once a Peck, always a Peck. <clears throat> Shandor must have employed hundreds of workers for years to build this place. The supports are waterlogged, the mortar is decrepit, and the foundation is shattered. In purely physical terms, there's no way all this can still be standing. You sound like you're surprised. No, not really. It's beautiful in a horrific way. You can't deny the pure genius of Shandor. It's mm. a pity that it was all used for evil. He would have just channeled some of it for good. The things he could have done. Mm. Oh, there's something here. Uh... There was something here. Perhaps is something here. Not 100% sure. Ah, large painting. Artist and Chandor devotee Vikram Vidim painted this fanciful scene after attending a prestigious fox hunt on Tiamat Island. Tiamat Island? As in. 
Um, the, the evil queen of the dragons. In, at least in Dungeons and Dragons. And, and, you know, related media. Okay, so now what? Okay, we've all got to pull together for this one. All right, well, what are we doing? <laughs> well, okay, what are we pulling together for, though, guys? Come on. What's our next move here? I feel like we walked all the way around. We saw the painting. Now, now what though? You know what I mean? Hmm. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Is it that? Is that what I'm supposed to do? No. No. Look, a mandala. Oh, you found it. Oh. Okay. I guess I just had not properly triggered. Black mass. Whatever what? it was. People still worship me even after they're dead. Slime ghost. That might explain how these structures are still standing. Slime ghosts. Got you, buddy. Whoa. Alright, there's one. I think you mean, uh, goo them up. Run! Slime them up, perhaps? Behind you. To the right. Whoa, slime hole. Into the line, sucker. Here they come. Ow. That was, that was ow there. Find some cover. <laughs> Guys, I know you only have so many voice lines, but come on. He's burning. Got one. Did they open another slime hole down here? Yeah, I think they did. I'm coming, Winston. I got you, buddy. Whoa, easy now, Wolverine. There we go. And he left. This is great. It is officially time for us to go. Leave the black mass. Okay. Check this joint out. Unless my sensory array is malfunctioning, that is definitely the place we're looking for. Really? Peter, behind you. No! Get back! Take your imaginary hands off me, man! No! There's too many. <laughs> Egon! They got Egon! Bring him back here! Kid, help us! Okay, you need to get to the other so we can help. Please be careful. We don't know what we're dealing with. Here. But it sounds big. When big things attack, it hurts. Mm. Alright, and on that note, let's take us another quick little break, stretch your legs, do whatever you gotta do.
see you back in a few.